song A brand new dance I wear out my third second chance You would take my breath and I can't get it back Might be time for me to face the facts The best me Hey guys, welcome back to my channel For those who are new, Karibu Sana In today's video I want to clean like the kitchen appliances being that being the fridge the cooker the the microwave our kettle i might also clean the washing machine and another thing that i want to clean is but i'm not sure if i'll have the time i'll clean the pantry if i don't this one can wait for tomorrow or some other time so yeah that's what i want to do uh, in this video and then I'm also going to be sharing with you our grocery haul and just a few snacks that we get for either a week or two so yeah so without further ado let's get into the video so before I open the fridge Aki please don't charge because Everything is everywhere. There is no organization. Now, so yeah, this is <laughs> this is embarrassing. So this is how my fridge is looking like at the moment. It does not even look motivating enough to like cook. So I want to sort this mess. And then now I can clean the fridge when everything everything is out. Then now I can arrange it into something that's workable because this is this is just this is a lot. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah, so let's get everything out and then I can start cleaning the inside of the fridge. Also, if I can move you closer, you see above the fridge. Can you see how dirty that place is? This is where our tray of eggs goes. So I will also be cleaning like the outer shell of the fridge. Yeah, so let's get started. First of all, I am going to remove the magnets. Before you ask, I got this from Home Decor 254. I think one was going for like 100, 150. So yeah, I'm just going to put them somewhere and get everything out. What we have in this uh, yogurt jars is cream. You see, when you kichamsha maziwa and then you remove that top layer, yeah, that's what is in there. You take my breath and I can't get it back. Might be time for me to face the facts. The best me is with you, but I know I got a lot to prove. They think we're too damaged to fix, but we're just working through a little rust. They like to say we're just young, but I'm going to remove this and then clean everything up so I want to wash these ones with soap and water then the rest of the glass thing is since I don't want to break them I'm just going to wash the inside of the fridge plus the glass um, shelves with like a vinegar mix. And that is one part water, one part vinegar. Find the reason why you stay by my side. You and I break our hearts open enough. Just to see if I won't put them back. No matter what they try.
this spray bottle i have one part water and two no one part vinegar and two parts water and that's the cleaning solution that i'm using to clean the inside of the fridge Looking through a little rust They like to say we're just young But I know we won't give this up Sometimes I lose my mind And some days it's hard to find The reason why you stay by my side You and I So I'm going to switch off I forgot to do that So this part is where I normally put like the the ice cube tray but since we rarely use ice cubes we only need them like when we have uh, guests or when we're having drinks and we rarely do that so we removed the ice cube maker part so that we could just increase the the size of the freezer so this is done I'm going to clean the bottom part now how dirty this thing looks just going to spray that so that is kind of so morning sun searching for a longer day people feeling like the light has just come we must never stop the way but jumping and I hear my name grasping into Let me clean this up with like a paper towel. Life is happy but it's so insane. We must merely make a strive. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah. So for the top of the three, I'm going to wipe with this one first. Can you see how dirty that is? In your shita, you have one I hope I am getting the dunk out. I'm going to spray this kitchen cleaner so that I can get rid of like the dirt since it's stronger. Just begun. We will always take a stand for the people for going to use the same kitchen cleaner to clean like the outside since it's 
greasy but you can also just use the vinegar mix I think it's pretty clean right now. Too and smells good. <laughs> and not like I have rotten food inside. <laughs> Please save me. Yeah, it smells really good. So the next thing that I want to clean is <laughs> the microwave Akiwa. Can you see that guys? Yeah, I'm sure I tell Maziwa. So I want to clean this and I'm going to use the same water vinegar mix on the inside and on the outside. But I'm, I'm also going to need to move this very carefully because <laughs> pantry jars are expensive. Instead of doing this, you can also just boil like uh, water with some vinegar and preheat it for like five minutes in the microwave. But since it's not that dirty, I'm just wiping it with the vinegar mix. If you also don't have vinegar, you can just use water with like um, lemon juice drops and that will clean your microwave. I think, I think it's clean. <laughs> yeah, so I'm also going to spray the outside. So I'm going to lift it and then you can see how dirty the bottom part is. Can you see that? So I also want to clean the inside and the outside of the kettle. Can you see? Yeah, that's how dirty it is. So for this one, I'm just going to pour vinegar until the metallic surface is covered. And then I'm going to leave that to soak. When I clean the inside is when I'm going to like clean the outside for now. I think we can clean the oven. So to clean the oven, since it's really greasy, I'm using the lemon burst cream cleaner from Astonish. So I'm just going to remove these things first. I found a picture we took many. So with this one, you just make sure you shake it well first and then I'm going to apply it with a wet sponge. You can either use a sponge or a cloth, whatever rocks your boat. Years ago, when I said to you we would never grow old, messages I've saved that I never sent because I don't know you, but I used to back then. I and then the inside of the oven, this is where I store like my trays and my baking tins. The big one for baking trees. Remember that I was 
So now I'm going to use the side to like scrub. After all this time. So for the space between the knob plate and the top side, I'm going to use a knife so that I can like get in there. Found yourself away out of this small town. So now once you've left that to sit for some time, you just go in with oops with a cloth, a damp cloth. And just I <laughs> just go in with a damp cloth and wipe. Got a place at school you didn't hang around. Every day you far away, these streets don't feel the same. Everywhere is painted with your name. I remember that I was drunk out my mind when we kissed for the first time in the back of your car. We passed out. See that, guys? That is so dirty. What? Let's go in one last time because I do not want to cut my hands. my cooker is very very old so it might have like some super stubborn stains but yeah it's past like i think it's like six years or seven years i'm not sure it's, it's very old i got things and disappeared i never thought i would see you Try to replace you with somebody out there If I didn't chase you, would you even care? And if I lost my mind, would you come around? I will keep you safe and sound after all this time So where the knobs are, I wish I didn't apply so much uh, cleaner Because I think it's like fetting the lines <laughs> But it looks like that. Cleaning knobs is such hard work. I wish there was like a way if they could come out, you clean them and then you put them back. Is there? Comment below. If you remove your knobs and as Nanga Shida. I just can't let you go. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one No one likes being lied to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us As you can see, let me put my hand, the gunk, if you can closely see that, the gunk like 
is coming out so i'm just going to use these and wipe this is just the vinegar and then i'm also going to clean on the outside And I'm just going to wipe this with like a clean cloth and rinse the vinegar out with some hot water. So you can see even the outside, like the silver part is shiny and the inside is very clean and the plate is like clear. So yeah, brand new. So this kettle has served us for two and a half good years and guys as you can see it's still new it's never broken down i've never had any problems with it the only thing that i was worried about was the glass i thought that sean would break it but i'm really surprised because sean is like really good with handling like uh kitchen stuff he doesn't care about it at all he just if it's not a toy he's not concerned so yeah, this has lasted us two years. It was a good purchase. It was less than 2,000 bob. And as you saw, it's very easy to clean. So as you saw earlier, I wrote a list of what I wanted from like the local supermarket and like fruits and veggies and cereals. So there are several things I did not get from the soko i did not get bananas they they had like small ones so they're going to the market tomorrow so i'm going to pick most of the stuff that i didn't get tomorrow bananas i did not get um what other fruits didn't i get passion fruits i did not get melon i did not get pineapple but i got tangerine and oranges five each i also got like two avocados also got dania and then i got <laughs> i got fish this is how they look like one was going for a hundred bob so i got fish i bought one kg of onions and then they are sitting on like a tray of eggs because we didn't have any and then i keep going by the way so I have beans and they've been packed in these bags. So I bought like one and a half of beans and dengu, 1.5 kg of each. Those will be enough for like two weeks. So the fruits are for one week. The fruits and the veggies, those ones are for one week. The eggs, I think those ones will go for two weeks. These ones will go for two weeks. The snacks are for a few days. <laughs> So I got also a few things from the supermarket. So this is Chevda. And then I I was looking for like cookies because as you can see, like our cookie jar is empty. So these are the ones that I got and these are like chocolate fingers. And since they are from Mill Bakers, I trust them. And then I got fruit cake from Mill Bakers and then I just got a simple cake from these ones are called what faith bakers i think this is just like either a vanilla cake or like a marble cake but i have tried their cake before and it was nice but it's not like mid bakers level yet i also got mala oh maziwa mala and this is like the sweetened one already because we normally have it like sometimes with ugali and then this is fresh milk. This is two liters. I got it from the dairy as you saw. And then Novidas for my partner. And then for me, I have lemonade. This is like, yeah, a very good drink. And then I have two stonies. And then for Sean, I got him like flavored milk. So I 
got purple gum, chocolate, and strawberry. I took this in place of ice cream because right now it's really cold. And then I also picked for him yogurt. I normally like like taking different flavors, but this is the only one like they had still in stock. And then Juguzamze. <laughs> and then I have like chocolate cream biscuits. I took like 10 of this. This is also really yummy. I think that is it that that's everything that I bought because we still had tomatoes in the fridge. Yeah, so I want to organize these things. Some are going into the pantry, some are going into my vegetable rack, uh, and most of them are going like in the fridge. So yeah, let's do that. <laughs> I've been stuck on my memory But it's not like I need it And you may have some history But we don't have to repeat it you So, that's how it looks It's very clean <laughs> I wish it could stay this way So now I'm just going to arrange everything back to where it's supposed to be so I have put the fridge magnets back and then up here it's organized. So this is how the freezer is looking. I have tried my best. Oh, we also got ice cream over here. And then this is just the cream. I have removed everything that has gone bad out. And then these are smoking. Can stay there. So up here we have like breakfast meats and then down here we have chicken if we buy beef we wrap it this is where it will go if it's cooked it will be in containers this is just um beef broth when we boil a lot of meat this is what we use to cook like stews and curries this is kamande dengue kamande i'm yet to boil beans yeah and then we can have like a stock for the week then down here, I think it's pretty cute. It looks so nice. Although I don't have like fridge, like legit fridge organizers, I want to buy some from Kamukunji and then I think I'll buy them from like, I tell Ashley, it's the errands girl. If you don't know her, she's on Instagram. She buys stuff for people, then delivers um, to them countrywide. It's like a chaperone service. So I'll send her like fridge organizer so that I can arrange like the drinks and the milks in the acrylics, the clear, like these ones, but now the, the ones that are supposed to go here. So this shelf I have put milk and that is leftover food. Then here I have like, these are peppers and then this is dania. They can just go either on either shelf. If we have more leftover food, we have enough space at the back. So I've just put them there. And then these are our drinks. These are the fruits. I have arranged them in this like uh, basket. So it's easy to grab. If you want an apple, you just grab one, a tangerine, yeah. And then over here we have strawberries. I want to make um, milkshake tomorrow and I want to make lots of it. Then I can just put a jug over here for people to just like uh, pour. So these are Sean's stuff. And then like this is our stuff. These are longer stuff that couldn't fit here. So here I have our juice, mala. We have like a smaller one. That's why I only bought one pack. Then water, lemonade. Down there I just have the extra mayo and vinegar. Here I have the mayo that we are currently using and this is like cheese and another cheese this is like the chili chili section this is cooked chili this is raw chili then this is mustard and then over here i have eggs so yeah that's oh down there is just tomatoes and if i get carrots i can just wrap them in either cling film or put them in like a clear container and they will go in there so yeah that's everything that is in my fridge it's not a lot but it works mm -hmm. and i have space to add like 
extra stuff so yeah for the for the washing machine actually i don't know if i'll wash it today or tomorrow because i'm exhausted as for the pantry that one we're not even talking about it that one we're not washing today that one is for sure for sure so this is how the vegetable rack is looking like it's so dirty so i'm just going to fold all this wipe it put fresh sheets and i'm using like these paper towels because i've not gotten liners for it yet made this mess and left me with the pieces the bottom one is where i put like potatoes then this one is where i put like things that have not ripened then here i put like onions the dirty vegetables onion garlic and ginger then here i put fruits like bananas is something that you can grab and go i just need to clean my adding like two two oranges once these are over i'm going to take some from the fridge and then just add them here so here i have mjuku and since i don't have a jar for this just put them there then so let's check that What? Mm. in the bread basket but when it's opened i'll put it in a tin and put it either in the fridge or outside so we start with the dango We have come to the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video or you've been motivated to clean your appliances if you enjoyed this video kindly give it a thumbs up because it helps to grow my channel comment down below on what you think about it or what else you'd like to see me create and i will be glad to do so if you have not subscribed please consider doing so because we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers currently we are at 8950 we are 50 people away only to 9,000 subscribers so if you're watching this and you've not subscribed please do that before we end the video thank you so much for watching until next time bye I just need